Now students come to the next test item of Ricky and John Senior Citizen Fitness Test that is arm curl test for upper body strength. Arm curl test for upper body strength. This is the test item number of uh, sorry, test item number 2. First of all, introduction regarding this particular number second test item. The arm curl test is a test of upper body strength. Upper body ka jo strength hai, to measure that particular upper body strength, this particular test item was discovered and is part of senior fitness, uh, senior fit, uh, fitness test and upper functional fitness test. Here we are having the two, name, uh, two names of the test. Number one is senior fitness test that is, a, uh, that is also known as the senior citizen zones, Rikri and Jones senior citizen fitness test. And the second test is over here that is Harper. Harper means Alliance of Americans Health, Physical Education and Recreation. It is an Alliance of American Physical Health and Recreation. And this particular association or alliance is also conducting the same kind of test that is known as the Harper Functional Fitness Test. Clear? It is design, designed to test the functional fitness of the seniors. There are slight differences between the protocol for the seniors and the Harper test such as the weight used for the women. So these two tests, senior fitness, uh, senior fitness test and the Harper functional fitness test is the same but there is a slight change in the protocol of these two particular tests that is regarding uh, weight used for a woman in arm curl uh, test. So this is the basic difference between senior fitness test and the Harper functional fitness test. Today now come to the purpose. This test measures upper body strength and the endurance. Strength we know the meaning, the definition, the type of the strength as well as the endurance. Today equipment we require 5 pound weight dumbbell for women and 8 pound weight dumbbell for men a chair without armrest and stop watch. So these are the few equipments which is required for the test item number 2 that is known as arm curl test for upper body strength. Come to the procedure. Procedure is very simple. The aim of this test is to do as many arm curls as possible in 30 seconds. Arm curls karne with the weight within the 30 seconds. This test is conducted on the dominant arm side. Dominant arm side means the strongest arm. Either it is right or either it is left. The subject sit on the chair holding the weight in the hand using a suitcase grip with the arm in the vertically down position beside the chair. Simple one. The subject for the sample sit on the chair holding the weight in this particular briefcase or suitcase grip and the arm in a vertically down position in this particular position. Third, brace the upper arm against the body so that only the lower arm is moving. This particular part is only in a movement. This part, from this elbow joint to this particular part. Clear? From elbow joint to the shoulder joint there is no movement in these particular two joints. Examiner may assist to hold the upper arm steady or the examiner who stood along with the sample or the subject, he or she may be assist the sample to hold the upper arm part. Curl the arm up through a full range of motion, gradually turning the palm up, flexion and the supination position. This is flexion and this is extension. These are the two uh, movements of joints. This is flexion, sorry, this is extension and this is flexion. And the supination position means when the two joints coming nearby to the each other that is known as the supination position. As the arm is lowered through the full range of motion, gradually turn to the starting position. This is the curl up and this is the back position. The arm must be fully bent and the fully strengthened at the elbow. Arm must be fully bent and fully strengthened at the elbow. The protocol for the upper test described the administrator's hand being placed on the biceps. In up to this particular point, 
up to this particular point this is the protocol for senior fit, uh, fitness test and after this point the protocol is started for the Harper test the protocol for the Harper test described the administrator hand being placed on the biceps and the lower arm must touch the examiner's hand for a full bicep curl to be counted slightly different in this particular Harper test the pro in the protocol of Harper test the administrator hand being placed on the biceps in this particular position and the lower arm must touch the examiner's hand for a full bicep curl to be <coughs> counted so from this point up to this point this is for senior fitness test or we can say the protocol and from this point up to this point this is the protocol for halfway test a slightly change scoring the score is given for the total number of controlled arm curls performed in 30 seconds the total number of arm curls the corrected arm curls performed by a subject in 30 seconds that is the score of an individual for example if someone is performing the 10 correct arm curls within 30 seconds so this 10 is the score of an individual clear thank you